While working at a quarry, a wall collapsed on Peter Malungu. The crush wound on his foot became infected and part of the flesh is now dead. I'm not too worried, even though I'm in some pain. I'm praying to God that I will get well. He's one of the patients at the Kenyatta National Hospital undergoing maggot debridement therapy, or MDT. The results were pretty good. They showed uh, remarkable improvement uh, of, uh, in the terms of wound healing and removal of the dead tissue from the wound, which impedes uh, healing. Each wound is cleaned with saline and then newly hatched larvae are applied. The maggots are picky eaters. They don't have an appetite for live flesh. Two days later, the wound is inspected. A second application is often needed when there is a lot of dead tissue. There's obviously a lot of necrotic tissue here, but we are getting, we've gotten rid of some already. The maggots are bred at the Kenyan Agricultural Research Institute on the outskirts of Nairobi. The flies lay their eggs in a foul-smelling mixture of beef liver and wheat bran. That maggot is the one that will now start secreting saliva on that tissue. That saliva has got properties that uh, liquefy that tissue. It's cleaning up the wound. Doctors say the most convincing argument to use maggots is because it's cheap. More and more hospitals across Kenya want to employ these little surgeons to do their dirty work for them. Not only do they eat the dead tissue, but there's no need for antibiotics because the maggot's saliva contains an antibacterial compound, a skill not even the doctors can match. Martin Kadahi, ABC News, Nairobi.